My name is Nancy Ludwigson. I'm a chemist with Sarasota Sheriff's Office. I work uh, primarily in forensic chemistry, drug analysis, um, narcotics analysis. Um, I've been with the Sheriff's Office 19 years and uh, 23 years in forensic science. Well, the first thing that I do uh, when I walk in the morning, uh, put on my lab coat and turn on the lights, and then I start calibrating the instruments, and then I start checking emails and, uh, you know, the daily work flow. We test cases from all over the, the county and the state. Okay, here's your request for uh, toxicology. There, there are uh, multitudes of methods for, for receiving evidence. I normally like a hand-to-hand -hand exchange, which is real important to me because I can always um, document the person who brought it to me and the person who took it back, okay. and it's a, it's a more um, fluid exchange. Primarily the capabilities of this lab is narcotics analysis. Um, because we can test right now for any type of a narcotic that's out there and I can say to the exclusion of all else that um, this is this type of drug. I'll just grab a little ra random sample. This is the instrument that looks at the molecular level of anything in nature. Then I inject that up into the injection port here. Then inject. The computer is sending a signal over to the instrument right now and the instrument will run the sample. Everything that goes out of this laboratory is tested um, normally five times, and um, these results all have to back each other up. And a positive reaction should turn purple. And if it's positive, all of those tests should agree. And that's considered a very good positive. And I'll show you what the, what the uh, computer library has identified. Here we go. Here is, this is our unknown. And this is our known. As you can see, it's considered positive for THC and illegal in the state of Florida. I consider this particular position to be objective. Just whatever comes in, in those packages, I am just to report what's in there. And sometimes that works for the defense, and sometimes it works for the prosecution, and, and, um, and I consider myself completely independent of that. I believe that evidence is very important. I wouldn't want someone to go to jail for something that, that wasn't real. And, um, and that's really important. If somebody is in possession of a white powder, you really have to know what that white powder is. My position is unique um, in this agency as, as it's a marriage between science and law enforcement. You know, it's not just about the science and performing the science, it's about proving to a jury that, that the science has, has been performed correctly and that these, these results are, are able to be backed up. That says positive. It's a good, strong positive. Well, you can't put your name on that report that would maybe cause someone to go to jail because of my results if I don't know that they're absolutely perfect. You can see it matches very well. There's a, a difference between a chemist and a forensic chemist because uh, forensic chemistry is dynamic. And so we're using technologies from all different sciences and applying them to ours and I just find that really, really interesting and it's just so cool that, you know, it changes all the time. I'm just so glad that I chose this profession. I'm a, I'm a scientist at heart. And you would think after 23 years that would be boring, but I still have that aha every time I have a test and every single time it all adds up and it all makes sense and is scientifically sound and, and that makes me really happy. <laughs>